Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another video, and uh, as you can see, we are in Unity, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial series type thing, how to make a ball roller game, you know, and um, uh, I've already got the floor material, but we can just delete that so we can start from scratch. So after you create, you know, your thing, but just go to cube, and you just got to and make sure you reset this transform. I mean, I don't know how important that is, but I, it's it's important to me apparently. Anyway, um, we can create the new material. You know, they just deleted it, but create new material floor, and then we go. We get we can make it black or something. That's what we're gonna do it for now. And um, drag on the scene. This is this is what my layout looks like. You can change yours, but this is what I'm doing it. And we will rename this floor. This is about, yeah, this is a ball roller game. You can level up stuff like that, you know, but after you like collect all the orb thingies, you level up, you know. But for now, um, part one is just gonna be movement. So we're gonna have a sphere. We're gonna reset that. Make sure the sphere is kinda reset, you know. And move it up. See, like this, and then add a rigid body, and then add a script. We're just going to call it player move, I guess. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it that. Alright, create an ad. Open up before it bullies me. Dang it. Yeah, okay. After you do that, um, you go, it opens up this. It's going to take a little bit, but I already had to open, but opens them up this and we can just delete these you know we don't need them and um yeah we'll keep those okay so first you're gonna have to make a thing so public um float uh, i am bad okay public float speed <laughs> oh my gosh um, by the way, I'm gonna say right now, I am not the best tutorial person, but I just felt like I wanted, I just felt like doing this, cause it's like, the only thing I know how to do. RB, alright, we're gonna do private, rigid body, RB, and then we're gonna go in the void start. RB equals get component, and then you gotta do those rigid body, and you can move over and then that and end it by the way it automatically does it I didn't click the, the greater and less thing both of them I only clicked this one so yeah I'm just gonna say that now for any new people but so if we go down actually we're gonna delete this and then we go down we do void uh, fixed update and uh, I like to delete that. I don't know if it's important or not, but I'm going to delete it anyway. And we're going to do float uh, move horizontal. And then equals input dot get access. Um, then we're going to do horizontal. This just gets the tag of the axis. I can show you that in a second, but end it. And we can actually just copy it, you know, because we're lazy. And paste it down here, but this time we're going to name this vertical, and then we're going to do this. Actually, let's copy this instead of typing, because I'm bad. And boom. Magical. And then we go down to by the way, this is the movement. No, vector three. Make sure it's vector three, okay? Movement equals new vector three. And then move horizontal. Comma no, comma, okay. Zero point zero F and then comma again move vertical okay and then we can end that off 
And then, it, the, the player movement actually is really good. It, it's really simple, which is nice, which is for be beginners and stuff. But if you want to be, be all like, I am so MLG, then you can like make a really complex one if you really wanted to. But this is it for now. See, this, so this is the script. Um, so we're going to do control S for save. And then we're going to head back into Unity. Then we got to wait for that to process everything, you know. And um, we can actually rename this guy. Um, player, I guess. And then, oh yeah, we got to actually make him. So you can do speed 3 or something. Let's see how fast that is. And then when we click play, as you can see, we move around. When I click A, D, it, it takes it a second, but you know. It, it makes the game harder, I guess. And S and W, you know, you can move around. <laughs> you can get right in front of there. Anyway, yeah, that's it um, for now. And, uh,. Yeah, I guess. Man, that was a really fast one. These are gonna be fast. I hope you guys like that. I hope fast is good. I don't know, but um, that's gonna be a actually. Wait, we can make some walls here. We'll scale this down to like one, and then we'll make this two. So we're gonna have a wall. We'll have this be on one. I think. Yeah. That should be good as wall. Alright, this is gonna be the most crappiest wall, but it's gonna be fast. Alright. And then duplicate, and then we can make this 90. By the way, I am just rushing this right now. I don't know why. Alright, we're gonna move that down here. This is gonna bug the crap out of me, so we're gonna go like that. Alright. And now we can have the, um, the material for the wall, so we're just gonna call it wall. Alright. You know what? White is perfectly fine for me. So we're gonna plop these on here. Ploppy plop plop. Yes, and yes. Oh, yeah, I did move the camera up here. You can do that. Um, to get a better view, but soon we're gonna make it so the the camera is actually gonna follow the player around, and it's gonna be zoomed in more. But yeah, um, well, <laughs> what the heck? I guess that's it for now. Um, this is gonna be a very fast video. I hope that's good, and I can see you all later. <laughs> Bye.